Today, we're going to be talking about Locofy AI. I just recently found this AI and it is amazing. As you can see, it does front-end development at lightning speed and it converts your design to code in one click. Don't worry, we're actually going to go and verify these claims. But for now, I want to mention a few things that I really love about this tool is that you get a Figma plugin as well as an Adobe XD plugin and you can code in React, React Native, Next.js, this view gets by and HTML CSS as well, which means it covers pretty much all the front end technologies out there. And also it is in a beta phase, which means that it is completely free for now. Now, if you scroll down on their website, you can see all the integrations that it provides. You can see that it provides different design tools, Figma, Adobe XD. Then you can go with UI libraries like Material UI, this Bootstrap, Chakra. I personally use Material UI or Chakra UI, but it's up to you which one you're gonna use. Then it goes with the web frameworks. And as for me, I just love Next.js and React, but you can even choose Gatsby and Vue. After that, once your code is done, if you're working with web, you can just go and download your code or even sync it with your very own builder. Or you can push it to GitHub or deploy it over at Warsaw, GitHub Pages and Netlify, which is just mind blowing. And if you're working with mobile apps, you get React Native and they have Flutter and Swift coming soon as well. And as for code testing, you can use Tailwind, this TypeScript, JavaScript, CSS and CSS module. I know all of this information might be overwhelming, but don't worry. We're actually going to go and have a hands-on lab on how to convert your design into code within a single click. So that was all the information that I want to mention about Locofy. Now let's actually get started with Locofy and start the lab. Hi, this is your host Shamriz with Skillcurve and now we're finally going to get hands on and explore Locofy AI. So once you're done signing up with Locofy, it should take you to a page like this one here from where you can actually get the Figma plugin or the Adobe XD plugin. So for me, I'm going to go with the Figma plugin. Once you click here, it's going to go and take you to a page something like this one here where you can actually just go and open it inside the Figma app. Now, notice that this is a free beta, which means you don't have to pay a single penny to use Locofy AI. Now, once you click on open in development mode, it's going to take you to the Figma app, just like right here inside my Figma app. Now, to use this amazing app, you must have a design or a wireframe. So I have created a sample wireframe for myself to test this out. So what we're going to do is Let's say we want to just go with this frame. So we just want to convert this frame or we can even choose all of these frames. Now you must be wondering how you're going to access the Locofy AI's plugin. So it's really simple. All you have to do is just right click and you can actually go to plugins and you can see the recent plugins. But if you don't see it there, you can even go to manage plugins and you can search for Locofy. But there is also another method which is really simple. All you have to do is just go to plugins here and you can search for your Locofy plugin. All you have to do is just type Locofy and you can get it. Once you find your plugin, just click on it and there you go. Now you can actually convert your design into code. And as you can see, we can select the framework that we're going to work with. So as for me, I'm going to go and work with Next.js. You can go with React, there's HTML, CSS, View. And as for mobile app, you can go with React Native as well. But for me, I'm going to go with Next.js and as for the languages, I'm going to go with TypeScript. You can choose JavaScript as well. And as for the styling, you can even choose Tailwind CSS, but I'm going to go and keep it real simple with CSS module. And it blows off my mind how thorough they are. You can even choose your units from pixels or RAM. So once you're done with your configuration, all you have to do is just click on convert to code, or you can go with the classic method, which is a step-by-step -step process of converting your design into code. But as they stated on their website that we can convert or design into code with just one click, let's go and test that out. So I'm gonna go with the Locofy Lightning here. So let's go and click on convert to code. Once you're there, it's gonna go and show you all the frames that you have inside your design or your wireframe. So I have a footer, a sign up, a testimonials, a body layouts, a sub page and a hero page. There's even navigation and a sample page as well. So it's up to you which frames you want to convert. Let's say I just want to convert the sign up page, the testimonials page and the body layout page. So I will select the pages that I want to convert. Once you're done with that, just click on convert frames and it will start scanning these frames. It might take a few minutes as it's doing a thorough scanning of all the frames and converting everything into code which is a lengthy process. But again, I'm really impressed by the speed and performance of Locofy AI. 
it is really lightning fast as you can see it is already done with all the frames within a minute and now you can actually sync this with the builder or sync this to github so it is really up to you what you want to do or you can even export it to virtual or netlify and deploy your website but i would say just sync it with builder and then actually customize your code because it's just gonna go and convert your design you might need a few customizations or you might need to bind some data into it and the back end because it's just gonna go and build a front end for you you can even go and download the code and run it locally it's up to you so i'm gonna go with builder because i really love the builder locofi's builder can be overwhelming you would know what i mean in a second just click on sync to builder now it's gonna ask you do you want all three frames to be synced to the builder or you just want the sign up frame to be synced to the builder and you get a maximum 25 frames per sync so let's go with all the selected frames and let's go and create a next year's project first so i'm gonna go and create a new project here all the configurations remain same you can even change the name of the project so i'm gonna go and say this is the next year's project so i'm gonna go and say next locofi demo why not just make the name more definitive once you're done with that you can choose what you're building so i'm building a web app or a website let's go and it's a next year's project once you're done let's go and create the project and there you go your project is done now you need to select a ui library as i said i prefer material ui or chakra ui it's up to you you can use on design or you can use bootstrap or you can even ignore all of these because it's optional but i'm gonna go with material ui here so let's go and click continue once you're done with that you can actually sync this to builder and there's one more thing and i love how thorough locofi ai is you can configure whether the frames should be a screen or a page or a single component as for default it's gonna go as a screen or a page but you can even go with single component it's really up to you what you prefer i'm gonna go with the default and let's go and just sync it to the builder and there you go syncing is in process and it's just gonna go and take you just a couple of seconds to sync this and it's literally lightning fast as you can see it already is halfway through it's gonna take it almost less than a minute to sync all of these three frame codes to the builder and there you go it's already done now all you have to do is just click on go to builder and it's gonna go and open it up in your browser as a new tab so let's go and click on go to builder and there you go the builder is here and as i said earlier it can be a bit of overwhelming first let me just create a bit of more room here all right so as you can see we get all the three frames the sign up frame the testimonials frame the body layouts frame and we get all the files needed for these frames here is the code and the styling as well i just love this ai and you can even go and create components and prompt by just clicking here you can even bind data and configure your code but that's a topic for a later video for now let's go and explore the front end so you can even go and open up the file explorer add your own files here and you can go and connect your github here which is really amazing but the thing that i'm really excited about is if i click on any of these components look how it pops up here and you can add in the whole field if you want to change something with the button you can work on that as well it's really amazing how accurate your design is being converted to code now what about responsiveness it is one of the most important part of any web application or any website but let me show you how amazing locofi ai is let's go and switch between screens and you can see how accurately it does the responsive work you can even go all the way to a smaller mobile device and it still does it really well so that was just one frame what if i want to go to another frame as you can see this is the frame that was converted into code and if you click here you can see all the code that it actually used to build this and the styles here as well now let's see how accurate it is in responsiveness again so let's see there you go and it does a really good job at that i'm really impressed so let's go with body layouts and it's perfect it's just perfect now let's see you're done with editing your code you're done binding your data and your back end as well or you're just done with your front end and you want to deploy it all you have to do is just click here and you can actually go on and deploy this over at netlify Versail or over at github pages you can even export the whole project as a zip file or export individual component you can even pull this code inside the vs code editor this is something that really amazes me how much power this free ai grants you you're just doing magic with your designs just get a design and within a click your project is ready you just have to work with your backend and then you can bind your backend 
video front end inside this builder. And that was Locofy AI, an amazing tool with which you can convert your Figma designs just like right here into code within just one click. And your front end will be ready for you, as you can see. And you can even export this code, download it, even deploy it on different platforms, as well as extract individual component and the best part you can pull this code inside vs code which is my favorite i hope this video was valuable and i'm really looking forward to the growth of this amazing ai locofy ai is by far my favorite ai for front-end development if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on a daily update thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video we will continue to curb your skills with the latest tech till then Stay curious and keep exploring.